Hi, everybody. We're, we're live with... with Hello. Oh, Hello. I thought you turned into a dog. I know. It's that you almost... are a pooch. <laughs> what? A were pup. A were pup. Where pooch is funnier. So, hello, everyone. Uh, oh, gosh, I've got my name on the screen. I don't have your guys' fine. names. Sorry. We don't <laughs> exist. These are my special guests. <laughs> my We're always well, here. We've got Hawkeye the dog here. Um, yeah. And um, let's see, like I'm going rat. to, while we're waiting like for people giant. to come on, I'm going to be. So, so last time we had a little snafu uh, yeah. with the. Um, uh, with this, oh, Kelly Nicole says, hello, my friends. Okay, so I've got my phone out so ah. I can actually read people's responses. Good. Ah. Good idea. Uh, so we'll see We'll see how that goes uh, this time around. Uh, so welcome to another edition of Thursday Movie Question with yours truly, Wade and Mackenzie and Jeremiah. Hello. And extra Today special Hawkeye. guest, Hawkeye. We'll, we'll see. probably jump yes. to the floor. And um, so today we are talking about... Uh, the Princess Bride, and we're doing Princess Bride trivia, uh, inspired by the recent uh, script reading that they did with a lot of the original cast members oh, and a lot dude, of awesome. uh, a lot of uh, I think a couple of some guests and stuff like yeah. that. So they they uh, they reread the uh, the script, and I haven't watched it yet, but it's supposed to be quite uh, quite lovely to see the cast members back again. And there goes Hawkeye. <laughs> Uh, so the um, now the movie question that we have that I posted earlier today before we get to the Princess Bride is about um, uh, any movie where it has people are are far and out of reach where okay. they're, they're separated Gravity. by by time or by uh, uh, time and space or what you know whatever like uh, some, there's some time travel romance they're stories like that I can distant. think about. And some of the answers that people have said are things like Homeward Bound, like yeah. that, and also an, uh, an American Tale, where there's a little mouse yeah. where he gets separated. Oh, yeah. so, so any, any, one. so I'm interested in that. Any movies where people are separated from each other? Of course, Princess Bride has that, right? Because yeah. Wesley, the stable boy, is lost at sea, and she thinks that he, yeah. he's dead. Right? Yeah, because the traveler shows up, and he's just like, "You have a greater purpose, Wesley." And then they go, with "No, different, <laughs> different, different Wesley, <laughs> not Wesley Crusher. <laughs> Wesley with a T, I think, and I don't know if Wesley Crusher has Wesley. that. Wesley, Wesley, um, Wesley. So, uh, so can you guys think of any any movies that that you admire that have that kind uh, of that theme of of the the law a long distance? It might be the choice of the characters, or maybe the characters are torn apart by fate or some obstacle. Lion King. Lion King's a good Hamlet. one. Interstellar. <laughs> cool. Uh, Brave Little Toaster. Oh, I love that movie. Oh, that's a Did nice one. Brave Little, Little Toaster goes to Mars. Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> it's a sequel that no one needed. <laughs> Let's um, see. Oh, uh, Kelly Nicole is congratulating you two on your Goldie nomination. Thank you. Thank you. Both oh, no. I wasn't nominated. Yeah, well. I didn't, do anything this, I didn't do anything this year. So, <laughs> but yes, uh, so if you haven't voted, yeah. uh, vote. Uh, let's see, Kelly also says uh, Outlander. Aaron says, hi. Oh, Aaron says Home Alone. Home Alone. Uh, that's that's uh, a good choice, too. Home Alone 2. What is, home alone two. <laughs> Maybe what is home the alone one three? with, they're in World War II and they're searching for someone. Oh. Uh, Saving Private Ryan? Yes, that's the one. I. 1917? Okay. Uh, oh yeah, the yeah, that's that right. He's trying to get to the in, yeah, I'm done any, yeah, I like, guess any war movies. Any war I guess movies. The, yeah. I, I was thinking of loved ones, but oh. uh, but it could well, be it could be a anything. loved one because they're trying to get Save, him home. Saving Private Ryan. Yeah. They don't know him. Yeah, but they're trying to get him home to his loved one. That's true. That's true. He is separated from <laughs> uh, serendipity. Oh yeah, because they don't meet until Sleepless in Seattle. Uh, that's you've another got mail. There's a, little, a lot of romance. Um, There's one called The Lake House that I haven't seen mm -hmm. that is like Sandra Bullock and Keanu Reeves, and they're in different like times. I think like ten years apart. Yeah. And I don't know if they write letters to each other, or, but I should I should probably watch it. My like, another one that's very good that probably doesn't quite fit, but there's a subplot in Crazy Stupid Love. Like, there's a whole bunch of ones that are just really great. Yeah. The one that I'm thinking of is the one where he has the maid, and she doesn't speak English, and he doesn't speak French. And she's, like, cleaning up his papers. And so they're not, like, separated. Oh, they're separated. They're by separated language. by language. Oh, you're thinking of, of uh, not Crazy Stupid Love, you're thinking of Love Actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Crazy, but crazy stupid, love. stupid love also works. Yeah, I'm thinking like, of love there's actually. The, there's the divorce. Yeah. Right? I'm yeah. thinking of like there's geographic a... or, or okay. some kind of well. Australia. <laughs> but, but all of those. Yeah. Australia? Yeah, because it's so big, good. right? He yeah. leaves. He leaves he's, six he's months. He's gotta later. go drove it. Anyway, drove so <laughs> so these long distance relationships or these these love stories or whatever they are. Princess Bride is one, maybe one of my favorites. Yeah, it's also one of my favorite movies that has a rescue kind of plot. That's a big part of oh. part of. So uh, so today we're playing Princess Bride trivia. So for the five or six people out there watching it, what you'll want to do is is keep track of your score. I'm going to yeah. give you about 20 questions, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to tell you, based upon how many trivia questions you guess correctly, I'm going to tell you which character you are, which character, <laughs> we're going to tell you which character you are in the Princess Bride uh, universe. And yeah. these, these two wonderful contestants are going to play along as well, yeah. uh, but we, be fail. before they answer, they're going to, to let you uh, think about it. So if you want to write this down, this could be a very studious kind of thing. Write it down, keep track. I'm going to Are use you it. Write it down for I'm us? going to keep track by writing it down. I've got Thank a little you. pen. Well, pencil. you should also tell people that they should play so that they can get their character at the end. Yeah, that's what I mean. Because I've, I've got the list of, of yeah. the different characters. Yeah. So so play, keep score, and then I will tell you what character you are at the end based upon your score. And if you get zero, then we'll put you in the pit of despair. Oh. Oh, Allison uh, Pelham says, the lake house is so good and so bad. Well, now I really want to see it. <laughs> All right, so here we go. So for question number one of our Princess Bride trivia, what is the name of Robin Wright's character? So either think this or write it down. What is the name of Robin Wright's character? I know. I'm not going to get any of these. <laughs> Mackenzie's now realizing <laughs> she's not going to get any of them. None so again, you can answer right. online on Facebook if you want to, or if you want to keep it to yourself because you don't want to give anything away. But it's the honor system. You know, keep keep track of how many of these you get right, and I'll tell you which Princess Bride character you are at the end. I got 23 right. <laughs> Okay, wait. So it's Robin Wright. Robin Wright. Now, just she's the main character. Oh, thank God! She's, yeah, <laughs> you she, just said that. I she, was like, she, which she, guy yeah. is so, that? Uh, so yeah. So Robin Wright is the main character. Uh -huh. the, main, the female char yeah. main character. Female protagonist. Uh, do you know? Do you know her name? Do I? Know the character's her name? name. I think we've done enough time. Oh, we, people Isabel. guessed. Ah! Oh, no. <laughs> Isabel. Princess Isabel. Uh, no, that is not correct. Princess Buttercup. All right, so Jeremiah gets one point. Next, uh, so it, it is Princess Buttercup. So if you got that right, give yourself a point. If not, there's there's oh 19 God, more if questions. I put my glasses on, I can see the answers. Okay, so what is the name? Oh yeah, don't, don't look at this. I forgot. This. Can you I, see this? I can't see it. <laughs> my eyes. They say, oh, I no. have I have the answers on the on the side. Right? <laughs> That's not uh, so <laughs> so you can. What is the Continue. name of the evil prince? What is the name of the evil prince? Short man. It's not Lord Farquaad. Farquaad. <laughs> Both of us got it. <laughs> it's not Shrek. It's the Princess Bride. So in the Princess Bride, if you're just joining us, what is the name of the evil prince? Doesn't... We're going to wait. What's the name of the evil prince... I'm gonna see if people know. Do you know it? Okay. It's like on the tip of my tongue. I'm just gonna guess a random name. I think Farquad is kind of <laughs> derivative of it. Like it's supposed to sound yeah. kind of dopey and inappropriate. Because with the, with yeah. an English accent, Farquad does not sound like Farquad. Looks like Kelly Nicole has got it correctly. Uh, okay, give up. No, well, we haven't guessed do, do you yet. Guess? Jeez. Take a guess. <laughs> okay, um, Prince. Arsqua? Prince Arsqua. <laughs> that is Ars not correct. Arsquatta? I don't Prince know. Prince Arsqua. Okay. Prince uh, Humperdinck? Yes, yeah. Prince Humperdinck. Good it. job. Good job. Good job. Uh, that is you correct. You're two to for keep two. Your phone in front of it. Well, but what looking. if you see it by accident? We're not looking. I what physically can't see it. What, what does. Uh, okay, next one. <laughs> physically, I cannot see. Oh, I'm sorry, Prince Humperdinck is the <laughs> correct one. Next one, R-O-U-S stands for what? 
I R- this one too. R O U S stands for what? I expected you to smoke me in this game. Round obtuse universal situation. <laughs> round <laughs> obtuse universal situation. Wow, we're in a round, <laughs> Mackenzie. Oh no, we're in a round obtuse universal situation. Uh, that is not correct. Uh, no, well, that wasn't my guess. Okay. <laughs> you just... I was just, I was just riffing. You got to watch out for the ROUSs when you're going through this swamp area. Oh. I, I know. This. Anybody else out there? It has something to do with fire. <laughs> Stop. 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 Rats. <laughs> out. <laughs> Rats out. Us small. Rats out, us small. And Jeremiah? Rodents of unusual size. That is correct. Oh, no. Rodents of unusual I size. I know that too. I know I'm I know saying. you know that. Know That's why I was right. just like. Rodents of unusual size. I didn't even write that one out. Uh, yes, yeah, so rodents <laughs> of unusual size. That was question three. Uh, so what is the name of the poison that kills Vicini? Vicini is the Sicilian character. Yeah, he looks like. Oh. He looks like if Joshua was playing a character. I guess I don't need to do these then if I. Hide. 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 All I can think of is King's Foil from Lord of the Rings. Is that your answer? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, What's the name of the poison that I, kills I Vecini? I don't have it, but I have a guess. Abby Bowling correctly got rodents of unusual size and the next one. So you have a guess, Mackenzie? Arsenic. Arsenic is not correct. Okay. Jeremiah? No, I don't have it. I don't know. Uh, and Abby Bowling uh, gets it right. It is Iocane powder. Uh -huh. Iocane. Iocane powder. And there's some answers I didn't write. So I guess I didn't know how to spell Iocane. Iocane powder. I, I bet my life upon it. All right, the actor, this is number five. Yes. Uh, the actor who plays, so you've gotten three, is that correct? Oh, you got yeah. three? You don't have any. I don't have any. The I'm actor who plays Wesley also stars in a horror film with only three letters in its title. Name that film. So think about it, get, get your answers ready. Okay, a horror film. I have a really a dumb answer. Scary movie, but... and there's only three letters in the title. Yeah, so Carrie okay. Elways was a scary movie. Yes. Does that count? Okay, because the uh, first guess is dumb. Okay. And the let's first hear, guess let's doesn't hear your first guess for fun. The first guess is boo. <laughs> <laughs> is, the, uh, there is a movie called Boo with Tyler Perry in it, right? Medea's Boo. Yeah. I don't think he's in that, but if we find out that, that yeah, I will give you a point. Okay, okay, and the other guess that's a little bit more serious mm -hmm. is eat. Eat. That is also not correct. Eat. Uh, Jeremiah, ah, do, you have, do you have a guess as to what this? What's the scary horror movie that uh, has three letters in its title that has Carrie Elwes? Rot. Rot. That is not the correct. What Saw. Is it? Saw. Saw. Oh, no! Saw. Yeah, I just remember to say not some of that movie. Fair. Have you seen Saw? Oh, I saw Saw. I saw I Saw while on a seesaw. So, <laughs> bring the ad down. All right. So, so hopefully, uh, let's see. Hopefully, you're keeping score. We're on question six. Uh, and remember, out there, you want to keep track of how many questions you get right because then I'm going to give you, going to tell you what character you are from the Princess Bride. I'm the worst character. And uh, but even if you get zero, there's still a character. Oh, okay. Can get that I think is a great character. <laughs> Number six. Um, so, what oh, is the response guys. to this line of dialogue? No more rhymes now. I mean it. No more rhymes now. I know I this mean one. It. Oh my god! Okay, so you know it, but like no, you don't want. To. <laughs> Do you know I this one? It. I got it. No what? more rhymes now. I mean it. Let's see if anybody else knows. I know this one. Waiting for waiting for Facebook to kind of dun, catch up. Dun, 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 dun. I know this one so well. 
because I no think more. about it. Oh, Abby Bully has got it correct. Very good. Okay, so what okay. is your answer? No My more answer, rhymes now. I mean it. Oh, look, I found a peanut. Isn't it? Is it? No. It has to do with peanut. You have to give me one point. I know it. Uh, it's anybody want a peanut. That's what it is. I'm going to give you a point. <laughs> Thank you. Because I feel sorry. <laughs> I didn't know that. So I didn't know. Okay. <laughs> I knew it rhymed with peanut. Uh, yeah. Anybody want a peanut? Now, this one's a bonus one. Okay, it's because the same kind of thing. So, anybody want a peanut is the uh, is, is right, or close to whatever you said. You said <laughs> I want a peanut. You don't like poetry, I believe. Yeah. Uh, so there's also this is also part of the rhyming dialogue. So okay. so uh, uh, he says, Fezzik, are there rocks ahead?" And then Andre the Giant's character, Fezzik, answers <laughs> something that rhymes. Yeah. Fezzik, are there rocks ahead? Oh. I know. I don't think I would have gotten this one. Rocks ahead. Probably something something will be dead. I hope not, or will be dead. <laughs> I'm going to give each of you half a bonus point, <laughs> which I don't know what good that does in the grand scheme of things. But uh, yes, yeah, so the uh, the correct answer is, uh, if it is very close to what you said, uh, if there are, we'll all be dead. If right. there are, we'll all be. So you got the dead, the dead right. And that's close enough. <laughs> just like yeah, the peanut hey, one. Hey, the peanut's close enough. All right, folks. Next question. Number seven for the Princess Bride trivia. Who direct? And there's seven people watching. Who directed The Princess Bride? Who directed? <laughs> I can tell my chair by like, I don't do directors. It was like, yeah, I just watched the movie da, and analyzed the plot and the themes and the characters and the actors. No, any ideas? Dumb guess, Steven Spielberg. It is not Steven Spielberg. <laughs> do, you have, do you have a guess? Is it a woman? No. I feel like we talked about this director, though. Mm, yeah, I'm sure I've mentioned him. Yeah. Oh, you just, like you got that 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 clues thing brought to you by McKinsey. It's not it's not a female director. Uh, well, well, yeah, most things aren't going to be a female director, sadly. But I mean, like, not sadly. No. It's just a thing. It's like I try to keep track of directors with modern films, <laughs> but does he have any modern films? Um, he, uh, gosh, I'm not sure what the last film he's made, but he's, he did a lot of movies into the nineties and the two thousands. Uh, and so he's done movies. He did like stand by me and he yeah. did, uh, the American president and he did a failed oh. movie called North. Um, gosh, I don't know what we're, oh, I almost said it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we both right. guessed wrong. Okay. So, so anybody guessed wrong? Okay. Wrong? It is Rob Reiner is the Rob correct. Reiner. And Abby has that yeah, also. That that yes. Uh, all right. Uh, Allison says, okay, do this with Napoleon Dynamite next time. Oh, I'm getting slaughtered. Don't. Mm -hmm. I, <laughs> I don't Still, think I would I've do watched that movie one half of a time. One half of a time. All right, <laughs> Princess Bride Trivia continues. Name two Saturday Night Live alumni who appear in the film. Name two, and you'll get half a point. And this is what you could do with your half point. You get a full point then. Name two Saturday Night Live alums. So the you know the funny no. the funny people the yeah. play not I've a special one. guest. I've got one. You've got one. If you can get the other, that'd be great. <laughs> Work as a team. Uh, <laughs> Saturday Night Live alumni. Um, Abby's doing quite well. Let's see if she can guess this one. Yeah, this what isn't going to happen. Who are the two me. Saturday Sorry. Night Live alumni who appear in this film? This one's not happening for me. It's not happening for you. <laughs> I, I think Billy Crystal. That is, is correct. One of them. That is correct. So you get that another is. half point. You so have that a makes, whole you, four makes you a whole four points. Uh, any per, perchance you know who the other one is? Perchance to dream. Oh, never on it, Mr. All right, let's see. Uh, Abby asks, wasn't Carrie always on SNL? Uh, that's he probably was as as a guest, maybe. But I'm I'm talking about the players. You know, people. Uh, these I think the Billy Billy Crystal is one of them, and this other person I think they were on at the same time, and I think only on for one season, mm -hmm. just oh. one season as the player. So it was well, a quick turnaround. Uh, so the know. other person is I think I've got them here. So I'm going to reveal it now. So make your guess right now, out there, studio audience. Here we go. 
Billy Crystal and Christopher Guest. Christopher Guest. Christopher Guest. That's such a weird last name to be. But not you know who Christopher Guest is, though. <laughs> but he was not a guest. He, <laughs> he was, was a not player. a guest. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, so Christopher Guest, who went on to direct all those really cool movies, like uh, Best oh, in Show. Oh, Best in yeah, Show yeah, and yeah. Things like, and things like that. Yeah. All uh, right. In those? Oh, Abby in did those? say Christopher Guest. Very good. Very good. Abby. Very good. Abby's gonna Abby, smoke us. Abby, Abby is on fire. Destroy Next us. one. Well, I've been this should be very myself. easy for Abby as well, uh, but maybe for these young Gen Z people, no. these Millennial Zs, um, the actor who played the grandfather is famous for playing which TV detective? So the grandfather, we've got cool bookends to this movie, and there's the old mm -hmm. old man character, the grandfather character. Bookends. They're in their home. Yeah, that's true. I'm so frustrated so frustrated because all I can think of when I think of the grandfather's face is Grandpa Joe from Wonka. <laughs> <laughs> so. Grandpa Joe, so I'm scrying. Um Okay, wait. Okay, hold on. Oh, uh yes, Julie and Abby have collect have correctly guessed this one. Okay, hold on. Something that was a you want me to try doing Something an impersonation for you to yes, see? Yes, please. I'm not good at impersonation. It's like, it's like, ah, uh, just, just one more thing. I, I just want to tell you one more thing. Is I, I'm sure it's nothing, but the blood stain on the carpet matched your 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 DNA. So you're 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 arrested. I feel like it's one that I've seen with <laughs> grandma like, and grandma. And, that was and the imagine, most non-descriptive thing that, I've ever that seen. Imagine that I have like this lazy eye that's like just staring out into space. Does it have something to do with like Doc? <laughs> Mick Doc. No, it's not the... Doc Fardner. McLeod? McLeod is a very nice guess because that's the same era, I think. Uh, the answer uh... is <laughs> Columbo. Columbo? So, yeah, so Peter Paul. Oh, yeah. Was Columbo. Columbo. Oh, yeah. And if I had done a better impersonation of Columbo, that. <laughs> I would think that like, would not have helped. Would okay. not have helped me. I'm it's like, ah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Okay, so these ones are connected to Princess Bride through, through like, uh, I was going to say nefarious means, but I mean, <laughs> uh, tangent, gently, transient, whatever. Uh, Mandy Patinkin, yes, Mandy Patinkin plays Inigo Montoya, also, uh, who plays Inigo Montoya, also played a main role in what That's Andrew so Lloyd Webber musical? <laughs> okay, you need to I be can taller. just okay. bring up. Well, there here's the thing. Hi. Here's so the what thing. musical was Mandy Patinkin in? Do you guys know? Okay, it's an Andrew Lloyd Webber. There's only a few of those. So okay, what, let's name them. Phantom of the Opera? Phantom of the Opera. Is that correct? Cats. The train one? The Starlight Express. I'm just naming them yeah, for sure, myself. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. She's figuring out. <laughs> she's working through the different Andrew Lloyd Webber um, musicals. That's, yeah, that's no, 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 no. That's the only well, three I know. Oh, okay. I was like, that's the only three. <laughs> yeah. No! Oh. Wait, hold on. Yes, okay, uh, more. Abby is correct. And uh, she also got the character. Rock. That's the newest one. I'm going to guess. And he has two. But I'm going to guess Phantom of the Opera. That's my guess. All right. And I'm... I'm curious, did he play Phantom, the Phantom, or do you think he was Raul, or maybe like a supporting character? I don't character? know, like supporting. I, mean, okay. I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just <laughs> like the idea of Mandy Patinkin playing the Phantom. Well, now I'm going to change my answer. Your <laughs> answer is not correct. Do you have a And it's, Jeremiah's lucky because he can strike that one off. Fair. I know it's not fair. <laughs> um, uh, do, you, do you have a guess uh, as to which Andrew Lloyd Webber musical he was in? Starlet Express, Cats. How am I not Cats? Or. I wish I also wish there was a cat. There's one more. I know this. All right. uh, what else has I he done? I guess I'll do Starlight Express. Just uh, no, be serious. He was in Evita. I cool. Hate that <laughs> it's like people that. I hate cool. that. Cool. Move on. Is, uh, <laughs> I hate all right. Uh, let's see. Keep going. We're going. Oops. What Stop are you it. doing? I don't know what's <laughs> happening. Okay, next one. Now, Wallace Shawn, he's the guy who that get, plays the role. Inconceivable! Yes. Uh, who, who plays Bassini, also Bassini. stars in the film My Dinner with Blank. Can you fill in the blank? Sort of a, I've never seen it, but it's it's known for just he, Wallace Shawn and this other guy, they just sit and they talk over dinner, and that's the whole movie. So it's kind of infamous for being like, it's, it's very, well, it's infamous for being very static. Okay. It's a prequel, My Dinner with Bernie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I wish it was that <laughs> before the weekend. This is my dinner with Bernie. Um, my dinner with friends. My dinner with friends. My, I like that guess. Or yeah, so my, I, dinner my dinner with Seinfeld. My dinner with <laughs> Seinfeld. Before. Uh, my dinner with Andre. Oh. But it's I not my dinner with Andre the Giant, which would have been that awesome. That would have been yeah, better. Been awesome. uh, because Andre the Giant, of course, is in the film and he's, he's the next one. He's it looks like favorite. Abby also got uh, my dinner with Andre correct. So good job, Abby. Why are we I know. Yeah. Abby should be. <laughs> we need to get her on Zoom or something. <laughs> Uh, so Andre the Giant also appeared in a movie which mm -hmm. Dudley Moore's character, in which Dudley Moore's character is married to two women who don't know about each other. What is the name of that movie? Is it also a play? So what's I know I didn't. Is what's it a, also I didn't put the, a play? It is. I don't believe it's a play. It's an okay. '80s movie. It's not the and, play and, that we did at the and, CTG. No, no, and the oh, oh it's not Run for Your Wife. Yeah. It's that kind of plot. Yeah, like, oh, it's the same thing. So, yeah, it's, it's yeah. So Dudley Moore movie. Andre the Giant is, and, and many other wrestlers are are in it, just kind of as a cameo, and um uh and so it's an '80s movie. Dudley Moore uh married to two women they don't know about each other. Okay, here's my thought. Allison process. says Seinfeld only goes for coffee. And cars. Okay. And uh, I'll give you more of a hint since it's a pretty obscure 80s movie for for you guys and maybe yeah. for other people out there. Okay. Uh, the title is is two names. It's the names of the wife characters. Cindy and Lou Who. Cindy and Lou Who. <laughs> I like I like your moxie. Any any <laughs> get any guess? Just in the Mandy off Moore. <laughs> Mandy Moore's close. Yeah. It's not Mandy and it's not Mandy and Moore, but it's that's closer than Cindy and Lou Who. Uh, candy and Floor. Candy. <laughs> floor candy. I want Floor candy now. It is Mickey and Ma. Uh, and if you didn't see it, you're not missing that much of a movie. Except you know, it's nice seeing Dudley. Do we know Dudley Moore from Arthur? But he was in yeah. some other Arthur other funny goes. movies. No, no, no. Arthur is the best movie. It is. You, you don't need to see any other Dudley Moore movies. All right, we've got a film location question. We okay. almost never have these. The real. Thank you, Kinsey. I know, I'm just trying. I'm just trying. The real world cliffs of Moher served as the cliffs of insanity. So cliffs of insanity in, from oh, the Princess right, right, right. Bride. Okay. I'm saying. What? But they were, but they did this establishing shot. A lot of it's set, but they yeah. they do this establishing shot of these real cliffs, the cliffs of Moher. Uh, so the uh, served as the cliffs of insanity. The cliffs of Moher are located in what country? In what? We're gonna have Jeremiah guess first because we've done a, a, a few first guesses. Uh, I'm gonna say Scotland. It's going to say Scotland. That is not correct. Ireland. You are yes. That is <laughs> So two, that was going to be my guess. Two and a half so points. You can't, don't at me. Oh, let's see. And Abby got it right, and Kelly got it right, and Allison Ned said New Zealand, which is, I think, a very good guess as well. This is before the New Zealand craze, though. Yeah. I didn't film as much there. So yes, it's film time location in Ireland. Now do an Irish. <laughs> act. No, I won't. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Take me All back right. to that. All uh, right. What is the name don't of the Oscar-nominated song? From the Princess Bride, so I think the Princess Bride was only nominated for one thing, if I'm correct, and I might not That's be. That's disappointing. And so the Princess Bride was nominated for Best Song. What is the name of the song from the Princess Bride? I would like a to ask a question slash. Okay. Hint. Yes. Oh. Was it ever? Hello, are you still you here? I lost your question, sir. No, 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 they're still here. Oh, okay. All right, sorry for, I don't know what I pressed. I, don't know. Oh, I must have clicked on Leave Studio. You must have clicked on uh, Leave Studio. Okay. We're back, though, back. So, back. Does anybody back out again. there know they answered a number 14? Okay, so my question was going to be, yes. before we were wiped off the face of the yeah. earth, <laughs> <laughs> okay, was it this. ever what? played well, on the hard. radio? Maybe in the 80s, so maybe long before, but I've so never heard it I've, now. I never I've heard probably it. never heard it except probably for the movie. Not. Can you give me the melody? But My no. love is like a storybook story. Storybook lover? Storybook love? Oh, damn it. 
We'll All give right. you another half point. Don't, don't, don't give me anything. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, and a lot of people got I, that I one. Story, storybook love. Storybook love is the correct answer. Okay, so It Didn't Win. What song won that year? And that's a pretty obscure question. I so I've, It Didn't I've, Win. What? It, the movie. No, not the movie It with Pennywise the Clown. <laughs> so the other nominations uh -huh. were... Uh -huh. Aside from Storybook Love. Oh, is this a multiple there choice? There was, yes, multiple choice. Okay. There was Shakedown from Beverly Hills Cop 2, which okay. went Shakedown, Breakdown. Shakedown. Sure okay. You're busted. I'm going to pick based on and, how you sing it. Okay. This one is Not Hair the Time of Love. And this is Cry Freedom. I actually don't know how this one. Okay, Cry Freedom one from the movie Cry Freedom. This is nothing's gonna stop us now. Oh my gosh. They and if some this really great blah, blah. Okay, so yeah, we've got Shakedown, shake Time of My Life, Cry Freedom, and Nothing's Gonna Stop Us Now. One of those four. One. Which one do you oh wait, you get your get your numbers ready. One, okay. two, three, one, two, so, three, or four. Okay. And you, then you can on the count of three, you, uh, you put your numbers up. Tell me when you're ready. I got mine. Yeah. Same ready? Here. Okay. One, two, three. I can't oh, see your <laughs> sorry. two. Is that the time of my life? And uh, that, that is correct. Hair. Jeremiah has five points. McKinsey that has other song four. Is good too. Uh, nothing's gonna stop us now. It's pretty good, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> the the song from Dirty Dancing won. They beat the Princess Bride. That's they put Baby Buttercup in the corner. Number sixteen. Who? <laughs> Nobody wants. <laughs> <laughs> Who wrote the screenplay? Based upon his own novel for the Princess Bride, so oh, they, oh who wrote it? Yeah, who wrote it? Oh, uh, I should know this. I was looking at the book the other day because that's on my list of ah. books to read. Um, the book has two names on it, and one is a snot. So, uh, so who wrote the screenplay based upon his own novel? I don't remember this. He's I, won a couple Oscars. He didn't win an Oscar for this, but he's won a couple Oscars. His name starts with an R. I'm going to say Richie. Blah blah blah. That's all my guesses. Richie blah 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 is not correct. Oh, not even. I don't Richie. know it. I don't okay. Know. Is the last name start Let's with? Let's see an if R? anybody else knows. What does the last name start with? An R? Uh, is there an there R? is an in the fictionalized name. There's an R. I'll talk. I'll talk about that. <laughs> ah! Um. Screams. Let's see. Oh, Abby is correct. William Goldman is oh. right. Abby. Oh my gosh, she oh really goodness. is a fan of this movie. I'm oh, glad goodness. we did this. Just for Abby, really. Yeah. And Kelly Nicole's got yes. a lot of them. Okay, so here's a tricky one. This is a literary kind of question. Mm -hmm. So William Goldman, when he wrote the book, The Princess Bride, in the yeah. 70s, movies made in the 80s, he right. wrote it in the 70s, William Goldman created a fake novelist and pretended that he was just adding notes to an abridged version of The Princess Bride. So he claimed that this novelist was <gasps> oh, this so person fun. from like a long time ago. And yeah. they said, oh, my dad used to read me this story by this guy, this that's novelist. Very, um... And, uh, Great good thing. Yeah, and, and so then yeah. he. Uh, so it's it's very very meta in a lot of ways. So what is the name of the fake author of the Princess Bride? Goldie Williamson. Goldie would be so hilarious. <laughs> I wish it was that. I love that answer. It's not correct, but um, I, I love it. Richard Wiseman. Richard Wiseman. <laughs> it is not that. No. Uh, let's what see if anybody it? knows. Um, we're looking to you, Abby. Basically, Abby, you should. You should do you know? know? And I think it's mentioned in in the movie when the grandpa is opening up the book and he's saying the "Princess Bride" by so and so. So it is mentioned in the movie. So it technically, is movie trivia as well as literary <laughs> trivia. We last watched Princess. Oh, she got it right. 18. She got it right. Is she googling things? Maybe. S. Morgenstern S. is the the name of the fake author. There is no uh, R whatsoever. Uh, in there's. There's, there's the, ours the, in, in there. The sure. Name. Yeah, sure, sure. All right. What is the name? The simple character question. What is the name of Miracle Max's wife? Maxine. Maxine is a good guess. That's not correct. <gasps> what is her name? I wouldn't have gotten this one. I picked some that I oh, would have no, no, no. It's, um, it's a really funny name. Uh, Cheryl? Cheryl? Like, it's like, it's like, um, Gladys? It's like something that would be today. It would like, it's a name Karen? that would still be yeah. It's like Karen or Cheryl or Allison has guessed Rhoda. Do you like mm, that guess? I kind of like that guess. It's not correct. It's I don't think it's the I like the guess, but it's <laughs> yeah, I like it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ab uh, we're looking to so you, funny. Abby or Kelly, who also got S. Morgenstern. Nice. Kelly or Abby out there? Do you do you know the name of Miracle Max's wife? It's played by Carol. 
Carol, Carol Kane is the actress who plays it. I feel like it's Allison something... says Mrs. Miracle Max, and I'm not going to accept that. <laughs> Technically, that might be true. Technically, maybe um, and Abby says Valerie, played by Carol Kane, and that is See, correct. See, I said Valerie. You did not say anything. <laughs> you did even not. slightly. Yeah. All right. No, I said that you'd find that it's like very I... shocking. Okay, so this one, <laughs> this one, you can get half points for. Okay. Uh, so is actor Carrie? So there's my, this has one of my favorite sword fight scenes in the history of yes. movies, and there's a part where they're sword fighting. And they go like, "I'm not left-handed," and they and they, and they switch. They switch mm -hmm. left, right to left hand or whatever. I can't remember the yeah. order. Abby would know. Uh, so right hand to left so hand. so they both they fence each of the actors fence at times left-handed each and sometimes right-handed. Yeah. And so um uh so in real life is actor Carrie Elwes left or right-handed? And what about Mandy Patinkin? Okay. So, so, um, so we'll have you to we'll have you guys vote simultaneously by raising either your left or right hand to when I count to three. Okay. Which hand? All right. <laughs> yeah. So now I have to think about this because I. So this right. was my right. Left. This was my left. Ring. All right. All right. Dot. You guys ready yes. for Carrie Elwes? This is just for Carrie Elwes. Okay. One, two, three. Right shows hand. your right hand. You are correct. Good. He is right-handed. Now, Mandy Patinkin. One, two, three. Left-handed. Uh, it is right. They are both right-handed. Oh, Jeremiah, so just, uh, Jeremiah, what with the odds? <laughs> what with the odds? But you know, Mandy Patinkin's an odd guy, so it I seems like he would have. He uh, but you got uh, half points, uh, Kinsey, and Jeremiah has six points now. Uh, let's see. Abby says, I'm going to Davida. guess Carrie always is left-handed and Mandy Patinkin is right-handed. Uh, so Seven so uh, Abby gets a half point for that one. And uh, But remember, if you got the bonus point, that's going to help out anybody. Let's see. Uh, yeah, so well, according to Vanity Fair, I didn't ask them personally, but Vanity Fair yeah, says this. Okay, this is uh, the, um, the last right. one. What, is the, uh, what is the last line of the film? What's the last line of the film? I remember. Okay. I guess. I don't care. I can go let's uh, let's let's see if I'm sure that Kelly and Abby and other people are going to be able to chime in as well. So we'll see what they say. So you you you're pretty sure you you know what it is. You're and you're thinking. I think I know. Think you know? Okay. I'll know, and then you don't tell let's us see. who's right. We both go. All right, go ahead and go. As you wish. That's your answer. Yeah. Okay. Well, my guess is also as you wish. You are both correct. Very <laughs> nice. Okay, so you got. I got five and a half points. Five and a half points. All right, folks. Points. So now we're gonna find out. So the correct answer is as you oh, wish. Fair. It's not Valerie. It's Valerie! <laughs> Valerie! <laughs> and I love the ending of that when the grandfather yeah. says, as you yeah. wish. It it's makes sweet. me feel so nice and good inside. Say and my also, name, Sebastian. Also kind of a nice example of when a when a movie does some things that are wiser choices than the book. Because yeah. the book does not have that grandfather, grandson kind yeah. of character in it. And it doesn't have that, that kind of bookend uh, or that last line. So I really like that one. All right. But so... Count up your scores, everybody, and we will That's find so nice. out who you are. So Jeremiah had seven. Uh, McKinsey had five and a half. Uh, so if you if you played our game uh, and you got zero to one, you are the ancient booer. That's the person that's like, boo, bow down to the <laughs> queen of garbage. Like, oh, gross. I love her. If you scored two to three points, you're the disgruntled grandchild who'd rather play video games than listen to this story. If you scored four <laughs> to five points... You're the albino. Oh, so, I love the uh, So you're going to be the albino. Wait, no, but I'm uh, over five. So okay. Just, but, you're not, but you're not at six. Oh, I'm not at six. Uh, so I'm so we'll make you the, the albino, albino just so we have variety. So you're the albino. Really uh, you are the impressive clergy. I'm really excited. Can you quote the impressive clergy? Marriage is what brings <laughs> us together today. And if you... Uh, Marriage! <laughs> love... Sweet love. Sweet love. So if you scored eight to nine, you're Count Rugo. That's the six fingered uh -huh. bad guy. Good. If you scored 10 to 11, you're Vicini, the Vicini. treacherous Sicilian. If you scored 12 to 13, you're Miracle Max. If you scored 14 to 15, you're Fezzik. If you scored 16 to 17, you're Inigo Montoya. 
If you scored 18 points, you are Wesley. If you are, uh, if you scored 19 points, you're Princess Buttercup. Mm -hmm. And if you scored 20 points or higher, if you got the bonus question and all the other ones right, then you are the original Dread Pirate Roberts. Nice. So I'd love to know uh, what, you guys what you guys got in the last see. So Allison scored 2.5. So you are the disgruntled grandchild, nice. Allison. He gets uh, off. Uh, Kelly Nicole is Miracle bars. Max. Hey, well that's, done, that's very, yes. very good. Awesome. A Abby, we want, before we sign off, we want to find out, who, find who, out you, who you are at. Who are you at, Abby? <laughs> who are you at? Who are you at? Who are you at? Where are you at? Who are you at? <laughs> what you at? <laughs> Why are you at? See. Yeah, I don't see it. Let's see. <laughs> How you are? Let's just let's just write her off as the original Dread Pirate Robert. She she's is. very close to. I if bet. Not, I think that she's at least Wesley. At least Wesley. I think that probably she's at least Wesley. Red, the original Dread Pirate Robert. Uh, she says I actually stopped counting, but I think nineteen. So that uh, she's our princess. Yay! Yay! Oh! Uh, <laughs> 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 All right. Well, thank you for watching, everybody. That was a good time. This is the first time we've really concentrated on one yeah, movie. Yeah. It was kind of I, fun. Yeah, it was good. Good. I like if it. you choose the right movie, it could be kind of good. <laughs> what director directed yeah. this yeah. film? Next up, The Sorry Room. About nerds, Wade. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm ending broadcast, fellow right. nerds. Bye, Bye everybody. Farewell.